Thank you, uh, Honorable Speaker. And I thank the Honorable Member for the question. Plain packaging, uh, Honorable Speaker, means that the tobacco products must be stripped of all brand colouring, logos, decoration and promotion and standardise the appearance of the cigarette packet, making it generic, neutral or homogeneous packing. packaging. The policy objective of plain packaging is to deter the use of tobacco products by removing positive associations of brands with tobacco use, for example, misleading labels such as the use of colours and words which perpetuate the belief that some types of tobacco are of higher standard than others when in fact all tobacco is dangerous and harmful. It does not necessarily mean making a cigarette placards plain white, <coughs> black or grey, as many would associate the term plain packaging into. However, tobacco companies are prevented from advertising on tobacco products and instead the packaging will display legislated graphic health warnings or pictures, which is also a form of plain packaging. And one could uh, Google the internet and see the images of different forms of plain packaging and the different formulas that are being used around the world. As a requirement under the World Health Organization, Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, FCTC, this would mean 100% ownership of the right to all sides of the tobacco packaging. In the world, Australia was the first country, Mr. Speaker, to legislate plain packaging of cigarette packets in 2012. It wasn't all smooth sailing for the Australian government to enact this. It had to counter the lobbying um, from the industry and won a number of court cases, which took a number of years. The implementation set the precedent for France and the United Kingdom to legislate plain packaging in 2017 and New Zealand, Norway, and Ireland in 2018 with many countries thereafter. Following the introduction of uh, the plain packaging in Australia in 2012, calls to the quit line increased, individual pay pack display decreased, cigarette sales, sales fell by 3.4%. There was no increase in transaction times, no defection to larger stores to make tobacco purchases, and no impact on the illicit trade. A post-implementation review of tobacco plain packaging was also published, this is the Australian one, in 2016, Mr. Speaker, which shows that plain packaging legislation reduced the appeal of packs, increased health warning effectiveness, corrected some misconception of harms. Mr. Speaker, several studies in Canada and Australia have explored the potential impact of plain packaging on tobacco use. An article by the International Union Against TB and Lung Disease in Plain Packaging and labeling of tobacco products suggests that plain packages are less attractive and less engaging, particularly to young people. Another example under the same publication, on a survey of young people in Canada found that strong majorities liked regular packages better than plain packages, and indicated that plain packages were more boring and uglier than regular packages. Approximately one third, Mr. Speaker, of respondents also reported that young people of their age would be less likely to start smoking if all tobacco was sold in plain packages. This study also recorded a drastic decline of the appeal of smoking with plain packaging on most adult responses. Mr. Speaker, sir, experiences with nations that have been able to legislate plain packaging suggest the need to, the need to do so in a systematic approach, and that is what we have been doing. The direct approach in some countries to have 100% ownership of the rights to all sides of the tobacco package was met with very steep oppositions leading to delays in the enactment of legislation. Fiji under its current Tobacco Control Act 2010 and Tobacco Control Regulations 2012 have in place provisions for graphic health warnings which were implemented in all tobacco products in 2013 with messaging in vernacular to facilitate understanding by local consumers. Although the mandated percentage of graphic health warning on tobacco packet is limited with 30% coverage on the front of the packet and 90% of the back, Fiji, however, is already progressing and shifting towards what is now becoming a global trend in tobacco uh, control, and that is what I've been talking about is plain packaging. National public consultation was carried out in late 2016 by our tobacco control unit in the effectiveness, effectiveness of graphic health warnings targeting specifically a wider range of population to get a public perception on how we can better address this locally. <clears throat> and I say this, uh, Honorable Speaker, because there was 
um, already discussed in layman's terms out there in the community where people would say, I like the lung cancer one better than the heart attack one. Yeah. So we needed to do consultation to be really sure how best we wanted the plain packaging to be revealed. And this resulted in the development of new sets of graphic, graphic health warnings, which was implemented in 2017. To embrace the innovative pathways to reduce the overall prevalence of tobacco use in Fiji, the Ministry understands the need to review and amend our current legislation so we can fully implement plain packaging in Fiji. Our obligation as the leadership of this nation is to prevent false, misleading or deceptive packaging or labeling of product, tobacco products and to institute health warnings describing the harmful effects of tobacco use on the packaging and labeling and warnings which will actually make a difference, which effectively act as consumer uh, warnings and deterrence. Honorable Speaker, I'm proud that the government since 2010 have progressively worked in this area to truly protect the public health of, our, of all Fijians in Fiji. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I thank the Honorable Minister.